Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Today's pendant has absolutely no polymer clay in it. Niente. Zero. None, none, none. No polymer clay. You don't have to cut anything. All you have to do is just make it beautiful. <laughs> so let me show you guys what I used to make this very inexpensive pendant and also how I decorated it. I know that you guys can run with this idea and make the most beautiful jewelry. So for my pendant, I am going to use Lindy's Magical Powders and they are so magical, they truly are. I know that different companies create different powders, but these are just so, so beautiful. Uh, seriously, the colors are magnificent and they are just so fun to, to work with. So I'm going to use a green one, a turquoise and a bronze. You know, I'm kind of on the safe side here. <laughs> <laughs> and for the base, yes, I found these awesome wood biscuits by Ryobi, by Ryobi, I'm sorry, in Home Depot. And I have been using them for my crafts. I have made some ornaments with them that came out really, really beautiful. You can check it out on my DIY channel. You can see some of them already painted. And that is what I'm going to use for the base to my pendant. But if you don't have access to those, any kind of shaped piece of wood, round piece of wood, oval, whatever you have, you can just use it. And I'm going to show you how I decorate it with the magicals, but you don't have to use magicals for this. This is just such an amazing opportunity to be creative. So here you go. I'm going to apply my powders directly onto the wood. I'm not even worried about anything else, just directly onto the wood. And now you're thinking, oh my goodness, what is she doing? If you have never seen the magicals work, just you wait. So I'm just going in and I'm just adding some bronze to the bottom of my pendant. I'm also going to add a little bit to the top, just a little tiny touch of bronze to the top. Um, and then I'm going to go on and go in with my, with the different colors now what I would tell you uh, which I'm not doing here is that wear gloves when you're working with magicals because those colors do not come off the skin easier easily so um, I would definitely wear gloves so do as I say not as I do here <laughs> but you can see I'm almost done with all the powders all the powders are on and now the fun part of spraying water you just take water and start spraying on it and look at that the the colors change into this magnificent color and now it's all about playing adding more powder to certain spots taking it away from the other and so on and so forth now with the magicals they do have this beautiful shimmer so you don't have to add any mica powder to it in order to get that gorgeous shimmer already and it's just oh my gosh it's like i absolutely love working with them on this pendant as well as on my card making just a very very fun project so when you first get the magicals you really do need to try them out because they look completely different than what comes in the box so maybe you can create some samples so you know how they're going to look on whatever you're using them on i use them on another pendant as well now that i think about it and they came out really really good so right now it's just about adding more more of the magicals in one spot uh, you know taking away from the other and so on and so forth and I'm trying to also get the corners as well so that uh, we have a nice finish all over all over the pendant but that's pretty much it you're just going to be mixing them in and uh, <laughs> look how pretty they are looking I just I love the how the colors came out and how those colors actually work together Okay, so the pendants are dry right now and I'm ready to start applying resin. Now, do you see the two dots? Some of those pendants have two dots, one on top, one on the bottom, and the other one just has one dot. It, I, I, didn't, I could not figure out why some had two dots, the other one had only one dot. It's, <laughs> it's because one side of this uh, wooden biscuit has two dots, the other one has one dot. So, 
<laughs> it took me a while. I'm sorry. I should have said something in the beginning. and But I created some pendants with two dots, some with one. And you know what? Nobody is going to care. But look how beautifully the colors are starting to pop. Now, the only thing is that when you're adding resin, you're taking away from the texture. So if you're really into the texture and you like those that little design that is on uh, the pendant then you may want to skip the resin and use something else so I decided that I was going to apply just the uh, a gloss varnish to my second pendant but you can see how beautiful it looks oh my gosh it's just a piece of wood with some with some coloring to it look at that and here I just wanted you guys to see that you really do take away from that texture feeling when you apply resin yes the colors pop beautifully but you know you're giving up the texture so I'm going to put the polyurethane uh, urethane uh, gloss uh, varnish on my other pendant just to see how the colors would work with that and uh, and uh, I'll show you at the end you can decide what you like better if you like the polyurethane or if you like the uh the resin now this nail art kit is the best those i've used it so much in jewelry making they're absolutely perfect and they had i mean that the nail kit uh, that i had had little shells and a starfish so i decided that i was going to put that on the pendant and i also added some feathers to to the next one but when i th these pieces are so tiny they are so perfect for jewelry making and for beautifying the the pendant and when i put it inside uh, into the resin that was still wet i was thinking that oh my goodness i'm going to have to go in with the second coat of resin which is not a big deal but actually these things are so tiny that my resin completely covered them i don't have to put another another layer of resin it is just so fun to just be able to go ahead and play with all those little pieces from the nail art kit and there are some other like uh, circles and triangles a bunch of different stuff it's just a lot of lot of fun so from the nail art kit, I'm also going to use some feathers. They are so beautiful. I mean, that uh, uh, nail art kit is at such a great price point for everything that you get that you guys should totally, totally invest it for your crafts. It really, really is awesome. But let me show you what else I decided to try out with those wooden pieces. I decided to take them and paint them with metallic clay. And this one, I'm going to list the, the name of it um, in the description, but it's like bluish. It's perfect bluish metallic it's perfect actually for crafts for for the holidays but I just wanted to add some shimmer to the bottom of my pendants so now that it's uh, the pieces are dry I'm just going to use my alcohol inks and I'll I will play with them and you can see that I'm going a little bit too heavy-handed in the beginning but it's okay it's just alcohol ink that means that you can go ahead and you can add more alcohol to it and kind of spread it around if you want to it's just a fun thing to do but a lot of us do have alcohol inks at home so you can see if you're going to use that blue one and the yellowish one or the citrus one you get that nice green in between so you know use your imagination but alcohol inks work absolutely beautiful you can see that beautiful design it's coming through uh, it, it's just a fun fun um, thing to use on it as well and I wanted to go kind of in line of my other pendants the original pendants so yes we have the um, the the green and the blue but i also wanted to add some bronze to it so i'm just using acrylic paint to add to the top of my pendant just to add some life to it but you can totally do it and run with it <laughs> there's just so much that you can do with this pendant so there you have it i wanted to show you guys the difference between the resin and the polyurethane gloss you can definitely see how different the texture is and uh you know but the resin oh my gosh it just looks so so beautiful i am in love with the shimmer the magicals are just magical <laughs> that's all i'm going to say about that 
they are just so fun to play with and those wooden biscuits it's such a great buy you get, get hundred of them in that little container that means that you can potentially make hundred pendants well what do you guys think about it did you guys enjoy this video i know it's not polymer clay but hey it's still a jewelry video and maybe it will get us thinking you know how else uh, we can make jewelry what else we can utilize so my friends i hope you enjoyed it until next time ta-ta